Hey everyone, welcome back, Heat Floor 1x5 Games, and it's the final push to get our asses to Brick World. Brick World, it, it, it's actually Saturday, June 11th. Well, <laughs> not according to time. According to time, it's Sunday, <laughs> June 12th. But, anyways, uh, had a really kick-ass night, had uh, Matt over, he helped me out with working on some configurations on the dome, on the center dome, which is really... You know, kind of the centerpiece. That's definitely not the final. We there's some work that I need to put in tonight, which I will do here shortly. But first, first off, let's go ahead and take a look at the other stuff. Oh yeah, say hi to Dragon Boy. All right, I did pause it there for you just to save you a little bit. So this is the front door. I do have a little bit more work to do to it. Other than that. Uh, you know, maybe 20, 30 minutes worth of work there. Nothing, uh, nothing concerning. I have four more highlights I gotta do, which I'm not gonna show you. Uh, we're gonna work on that, and uh, we'll just make it to Brick World. But look at these domes. So this is kind of the configuration that it would be in on the regular build. I kind of just, they're just laid out. I, I'm not. Can you see that? Woo! I'm not saying that's 100% accurate, but it's pretty fucking close. We got uh, four main domes in the center. Or, not the center, but let's just call it the corners. Four main domes on the corner, one main dome on the center. Uh, Matt came over and really helped me out with just kind of the math and configuring some of this, uh, the, this portion here, the, the what we would call the onion dome the dome portion i got this guy done last night so it was kind of easy to just kind of come over and do quite a bit of configuration we're watching ufc uh shout out to tashira i really think you could have won it if you would have just kept fucking hitting instead of constantly trying to grapple bro jesus christ what point were you trying to make there Anyways, we've got a beautiful cross going. This is, uh, again, not the final configuration. Uh, I still have plenty of work to do here. Got to clean up a couple angles. Uh, the uh, seashells are likely going to go away. I think uh, we kind of came up with a different idea there, and I, I have plenty of parts to make that happen. Uh, the center rotunda, if you will, is actually... Uh, portraits of saints and such on the original build so what I uh, we kind of came up with here is we're gonna put in some little micro figures into that rotunda area I also have a little surprise in there I won't share until brick world and then um, I gotta clean up this outer layer I, I have a way I have something to kind of make that transition a little bit better so that's something that I'll be focusing on we also got uh, so we have six other domes look at that. that dome I mean those domes really turned out nice so what these are these are balloons so here's the balloon pieces I'm not gonna put them all together there's no reason to I've already I've already tested the configuration, if you will. I, I've tested the build. I know where it's at. I love where it's at. I'm going to put this against the floor here, try not to bump it. I'm loving where it's at. I think it hits really, really well with the original build. Uh, after Matt left, I had these scalloping guys here, and I just kind of tightened up a little bit, put in some cheese slopes to kind of make that look brilliant the only thing that's different here is you see a little yellow plate there underneath the gold I actually was able to clean that up on the others and when I take this apart I'm gonna clean that that guy up too this balloon piece does attach there is a a cross beam there so that does attach it's the only thing that I made on it attach is this onion dome the big mi middle center dome what that means, though, is I have to put enough structure in place, in place of these uh, seashells, that will support the weight 
equally across 12 sides. So that's 12 sides. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. I mean, they've been doing it for thousands of years. If I can't fucking figure it out in Lego, I should probably be fired. My next step, my final step, actually, you guys won't see any more videos that, that I think of. I, I don't believe I need to. My next step tonight, in order to give me some peace, is to pack up these six domes, everything but the center dome, and get them in the mail. And my goal is to package those up tonight. Bef I say tonight, I know everyone is like, oh, it's after midnight, whatever. I'm going to package them up. I, I don't count the night over till I go to bed. Package these up tonight. If I can go to sleep with these packed up and ready to be mailed out on Monday as overnight delivery, I'm going to be one happy camper. Now there is a risk, of course. Uh, I've shipped 70 pounds so far through UPS. 70 pounds of Lego. There's, there's definitely a risk of damage. There's a risk of lost property. There's just risk in everything you fucking do in life. So, I think, you know, I've been thinking about this. I've been thinking about it a lot today. What happens if a box doesn't show up? What happens if two doesn't show up? What happens if my shit is damaged? What happens if the box rips open and half the fucking Lego gets scattered and they don't do shit about it? And I've come to a conclusion. If a woman can sue Geico because she got an STD from her boyfriend in his car, for five fucking million dollars. I'm pretty sure I could sue UPS for ten. You know what I mean? I mean, we've been you guys have been following this for what? This is gotta be video number 30, 29, 30. Shit, it's gotta be close to 32 now. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So UPS, if you're watching this fucking video, I highly recommend you don't challenge me, bro. Because I will come after my 10 million. <laughs> and, I, and I ain't fucking around. That would be hilarious. Oh, and, and people always ask, you know, hey, what do you do in the final hours? What's going on? What, Dude, you get fucking wasted. You listen to Zarface. You listen to Wu-Tang. You listen to MF Doom. And you just power through that shit. You get it done. You call over your homies like Matt. You have them help you out. Working on some uh, designs, and you just power through it, bro. That's all you could do. The middle dome, it's it's all walls, guys. It's just walls, really. It's I'm taking that with me. It's gonna go into my luggage. We'll uh, we arrive Tuesday. We'll be able to reassemble that in the hotel room Tuesday night while I'm fucking getting wasted. It's that simple. Don't panic. Don't fret. Ex what, what's that expression? There's an expression. It's like... Oh, God. Now I can't fucking remember. Now I feel like an idiot. You can't say that either, can you? God, all you people are sensitive as fuck. Expect the worst. Hope for the best. And that's how I perceive life. That's how I go through life. Of course, I'm hoping for the best. But... I'm also kind of hoping UPS fucks me over so I can get 10 million. <laughs> I mean, who wants to fucking work anyway, right? Am I right? Shit. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Uh, I was short. I was. I was short, or I thought I was. Two of these uh, dome halves. Uh, turns out, later tonight, I found four in a project box. <laughs> That's a funny story, but whatevs. So I did what uh, sometimes you have to do, and, and I went and did a kit bash. And, uh, oh, that's the back side. That's not showing the front. And so uh, Disney Princess Jasmine and Mulan's Adventure just happened to have two of those bad boys in that box. And it does have some new uh, gold pieces, which we did use in the center dome. Woo! Look at that bad boy. Yeah, so I mean, it wasn't it wasn't like a 
a loss or anything, but it was a very expensive kit bash. I, <laughs> I wish I would have found those other four earlier. <laughs> uh, but that's life. All right, folks, I really appreciate the support. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, follow, check me out on Instagram, 1x5games, 1x5games for all of you who have no idea what the X stands for. And, uh, <laughs> hey, I think the next video is going to be from Brick World because we're leaving on Tuesday. And uh, I don't really have much time to be throwing videos together, you know what I mean? All right, folks, really appreciate the support. Thank you, Matt, for coming over. Really appreciate your support. And, and of course, your wife. I'm not going to call her out on YouTube, but I really appreciate both of you guys coming over and hanging out. It was a really awesome night. And just love all of you guys. Thank you so much. Till next time, cheers.